old friend. I'm here to read for you again. Hello, hello, Cellulite and Love Tarot, or Hillary for short. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Things feel weird. Is it a weird Wednesday? I mean, what's good Wednesday? We're, we're gonna see maybe some weird stuff's going on. It's been a weird energy today. So that might be relevant. Things have just been weird. Things have been weird. Let's see, let's see what's going on with that. What's going on with that? What goodness is coming in? Hope that you're having a great day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clear for you. Deep breath. Clearing, clearing. All right, let's jump in. Um, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna get in to it, like just tarot. Yeah, let's do it. This feels so odd. Why does the energy feel so weird? Spirit, my higher self, my darling's higher self, thank you so much for using me as a channel to guide and instruct. I ask for the most clear and concise messages, information, feelings, and sensations to flow through me for the betterment of my darling and for the highest good of everyone involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. And thanks so much for being here. I love you. You're important. You make a difference. You matter. Oh, I feel like you need to hear that. Someone needs to hear that. Okay. All right, Spirit, what is the energy of the day for goodness coming up? Death and the Queen of Wands. Goodness, this kind of... This kind of feels like... Maybe that's why it's weird. There's like a transition period happening with your confidence, possibly. But I feel like it's a good thing. I feel like it's a good thing. Um, I feel like you might feel weird about it, though. Like you're kind of avoiding it. Like the way that she's looking away from this situation. Maybe you don't see how much you've changed right now. So like you're in this place of being very empowered being very on your game, be, being very much in control, 222 on the clock. But there's something about you that's not seeing, like, the amount of changes that you've made, possibly, or the depth of it, or how, how deep it really runs. Like, I'm getting, like, you're recognizing surface level changes, like an iceberg, but there's actually really deep deep spiritual changes that are happening right now around you that's affecting your success that's affecting your confidence um and I kind of feel like maybe we're in this place of like well maybe I'm just having a good day maybe I'm just having a good day temperance yeah you're trying to be moderate about it trying to be moderate about it like oh I, I you know we just have good days sometimes but it's been like relatively good for a little while I feel like and so you're kind of like hmm what's going on what's what's changing right now five of wands yeah you're like <laughs> thank you spirit for the itchy nose five of wands so I feel like I feel like what might be weird is that there might be some external factors it could be other people it could be mental barriers whatever that are making you kind of that are putting up a little bit of a resistance to this like empowerment and this change happening in you. Could be with whatever you're doing. It could be in business. This could be personal, spiritual. But I feel like there's this focus right now on are things really changing? You know, like I'm trying to just stay realistic here. I'm trying to not get like my hopes up too high or maybe I'm just sort of focusing on some things that need to change, but really behind the scenes is like a, a, an insane transformation. Something could be, something could be ending, but I just feel like it's, I don't feel like it's something ending. I feel like it's transforming a mindset, transforming confidence, okay? Um, but there's definitely some, people around you that are maybe distracting you from this. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay. Spirit, what, what is this transformation, this empowerment that is happening for a good reason? And why does it feel so weird? Why is there so much resistance? It's 123 on the clock. One, two, three. Three of wands. It's something that 
it's something that you felt like was going to occur in some distant time in the future. Something that you've been waiting on or something that you feel like is out of reach. Um, but I feel like it's closer than you realize. I feel like this, this kind of distracting, dramatic energy has sort of clouded the fact that this is actually coming in for you. you like your ships are coming in here. I feel like it, that's what's keeping you humble, but it's like there's a massive, massive change. What is this, what is this opportunity that's been at a distance or that we felt like is far off from right now? What is this? Page of Wands. It could be like something successfully taking off. Like there's some sort of 555 on the clock. <laughs> uh, something successfully taking off for you. I feel like it's something that you have a huge drive for and a, it like something that you feel spiritually called to do. It, it might be something that you're kind of, you view that you're new at, but really I'm getting that you're far more advanced than you realized. Like you're, I'm getting, um, you're kind of like, what people would call, uh, what do they, what do they call that? Oh my gosh. You know, like whenever you're naturally good at something like beginner's luck type energy, it's like you, you do this thing and you do it so well immediately. And you're just like, well, maybe that was just kind of like a fluke. I don't know. Maybe there's some other people who are trying to make you feel like you're not doing as well as you actually are, but really you're doing amazing. But it's something that gives you a lot of passion and excitement. It's something that makes you feel very happy. What is this? What is this goodness happening? Ace of Wands. It kind of came out like neutral, but there's the Ten of Cups on the bottom. In the neutral, it'd be something that you feel like it's a new beginning or an opportunity that you feel like is in waiting, right? It's like right there, you know that you want it, but it's kind of like in limbo, but it makes you very happy. Oh my gosh, it's your, it's your soul's purpose. This is your soul's purpose, right? Your divine mission possibly. I feel like, it, oh my gosh, look at how strong you are, strength energy. Okay, we've got Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Leo out here, by the way. Um, this is your soul's calling. What is your soul's calling? I feel like it has to do with, it could have to do with healing, honestly. Like, yeah, temperance, death. I feel like it has to do with healing. Are you a healer? I feel like you don't realize how much of a healer that you actually are. You try to keep it humble. You try to keep it, um, I'm getting tangible. Like death is a transition from physical, you know, the 3D tangible pinch me energy <laughs> to spiritual, right? It's the biggest transition of all. It's a good energy, but it's it's a lot, right? So I feel like this is something that you've tried to keep very surface level. You're like, oh, it's not that deep. It's not that deep, but it, it is that deep. Like the 10 of cups, wheel of fortune, ace of wands, death, temperance, it's that deep. It's your soul's calling. It's your soul's mission. And it's something that's very empowering. It's something that you have been really trying to feel accomplished at, feel like you have everything that it takes. Like you're trying to master this craft. Okay. You've been putting in all the time and energy and effort. You've poured your heart into this. You've poured your excitement and your passion into it. You're also practicing it religiously so that you can kind of get used to it. And I feel like it's on your mind a lot. It's something that you think about a lot, but I feel like you don't realize just how good you are at it. Like how natural you are. At it. Oh my God. Look at how good you are at it. The sun, Leo energy again, and 10 of pentacles. Honey, whatever this is, this goodness around you, this has the opportunity to bring you, I'm getting like divine inheritance. Okay. That could be tangible. That could be monetary. This is something that could make you very successful. It's something that could bring in a lot of abundance for you in all aspects, right? Monetary, physical health, spiritual, emotional. This is like abundance on the deepest level. 
right? And I feel like you're trying to play it cool. And that's why it's so weird because it's like, you have this calling for it. I don't feel like you're denying that at all. I feel like you feel like your most empowered self. I feel like you feel like your most known self. It's something that really you identify with this. You identify with this calling, right? You wanna help people, you want to lead people, you want to be supporting and you want to be encouraging and you want to get people to feel excited about life again. There is something about you, but you're just trying to play it cool. No, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I'm just, I'm just still thinking about it. I'm still kind of a beginner. I'm not really ready for that. That's not ready to take off yet. We're, we're just, that's not ready to take off yet, but like the energy is here and it's like, it's ready to take off. It's ready to take off. Okay, yeah, it's ready to take off the chariot. Like, five of swords, two of swords. Yeah, that's your own thought conflict, right? It's your own thought conflict. You're like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of worried about the way that these other people are doing things over here. Maybe they are doing something better. Maybe, maybe I, you know, would be jumping in too quick to something that I really don't have any business trying to try right now. I feel like I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared and that would be foolish to do that, right? Uh, but it's ready for you. Okay, this is really interesting. Okay, okay. Why is this energy, why is there such like a blockage energy thoughts? Two of Swords, yeah. Two of Swords, King of Swords. It's again like feeling, oh, feeling like um, there are certain things that need to be executed in a certain way, certain plans that needed, that need to be finished up. Maybe you're worried about like how to make it legally official. You know, I saw 1144 and 1155 on the clock. There's something about like the blockage being kind of a fear of how to navigate, you know, making this an active business or, you know, doing it in a way that is by the book, legal, you know, signing papers, waiting for paperwork, but not sure that you want to like go forward, just like over analyzing the fine print. I feel like it's physical and spiritual fine print. You're just like, what all is it going to take to make this happen? Yeah. What all is this going to take to make this happen? Because I don't want to just jump in impulsively. Right. And I kind of feel like I'm not ready. Yeah. It's like, you're trying to learn something. You're trying to learn something about how to make this more official. Right. But then this is kind of getting you up in your head. Okay. It makes a lot of sense, but I feel like an epiphany is coming. Like you're this, whatever you're trying to do to make it official, keep doing it. Right. Because you're on the right path and I don't feel like you're doing anything necessarily wrong. I just feel like you don't realize how ready you are yet, possibly. Or you might have brief moments of being like, yeah, I am ready for that. And then immediately like, oh gosh, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh gosh, no, I'm not. Okay. What, what is this? The emperor. You're so ready for this. Aries energy. You could be an Aries. You don't have to be, but you could be. What is this about? I'm getting so much passion here. It's something that you do so well that you're naturally gifted at, that it's your soul's calling. Okay, um, how is this situation transforming? Okay, I get that we're kind of up in our head. We're transforming, getting out of our own way. Eight of Swords is literally <laughs> self-imposed mental prison. You know, it's... There's never going to be a good time to feel ready, right? And so the only time you're ready is when you say, I've had, I'm about sick and tired of feeling tied up to this one daggum sword. I'm going to just freaking grab one and slice myself out of here because I'm tired of standing. My feet hurt. You know, I haven't seen the sun in God knows how long with this blindfold over my eyes. Like I'm tired of the blockages, right? It's you just kind of setting yourself free from your own thought processes that are holding you back. What's coming up before this situation and this goodness? Five of swords. Yeah. It's like having an internal conflict with yourself. <laughs> like, can you just get yourself out of there? Get yourself out of there. Get yourself out of the thought loop. Like this is what you're telling yourself. Like, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Who cares if it seems impulsive? Who cares if it seems, you know, like, I don't know what I'm doing compared to other people. Who cares, right? I'm not even saying that's actually a problem that you have because you very well couldn't, but okay. Is there, 
What's coming up with this? What's changing here? Getting out of your own way. Chariot, yep. Cancer energy. This could be happening in Cancer season, which I believe we just entered Gemini. So this is like a month from now. Um, a month from now, you might really start uh, putting your foot on the gas pedal and just like, let's make it happen. Let's let's start actually making leeway here to making it something successful for me. The emperor drives the chariot, so it's just like, let's go. It's it's game time. It's go time. It's go time. Let's get a move on it. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is really good energy. I mean, I'm glad that you're kind of getting out of your own way. That's the hardest thing to do sometimes. So I'm proud of you. Let's see. Spirit. Uh, okay. So as Darlie starts taking active steps to implementing this into their life, to following their soul's calling, to making things official, you know, making, making the business, whatever, however legally they need to take care of it as they start making this official and as they start showcasing this and stepping into their empowerment how is this going to transition i'm guessing in the next month right in the next month what's happening with this transition making things legal justice libra libra energy i feel like if you get the ball rolling in cancer then maybe things will really start feeling official around libra season which is only I don't know, that would be a few months from now. Yeah, Libra is, what, end of September, early October. So if you start getting, you know, taking action in a month, then yeah, you'll see major changes, major officiality um, in about four months, I'd guess. Yeah, the Tower of Scorpio energy, Scorpio season's right after Libra. So uh, Scorpio, <laughs> Libra to Scorpio season could be very significant. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, we're making these official. It's a big change. What is this drastic change that's happening, though? Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Neutral. Um, so I feel like the big change that's happening is... I am keep getting this phrase this week that's like stabbing yourself in the foot, right? And that's the kind of energy that I'm getting is you being like, it's never going to go anywhere if I don't get up. The key to this door that this person feels locked out of is right there, but she's so busy just feeling upset that the door's even locked that she's not even taking this key to unlock it, right? The key to your success, to your abundance is within you if you open your eyes and you open yourself up. The way she's sitting, guarding her chest, looking down, not open, not receiving, not engaging, just sitting and kind of rotting right the big change is that like I feel like you're no longer giving yourself excuses to just give up to just be like well that's not working right it could also be um something that you have to financially invest in up front right so money might be tight for a second knight of pentacles is there too so you know I get that financially to get certain businesses up and running, there is something that you have to invest, whether that be time, money, energy, you know, time is money. So it might take some time, um, but I feel like you're not going to let that get you down because we got the Ten of Pentacles like neutral. You're just like, this is what I'm aiming for. So even if it's not like, oh, I'm swimming in the money and the... <laughs> in the abundance immediately you're just like it doesn't matter if I have a long-term goal and I stick with it and I follow my path then I know that I'll get this generational divine inheritance right all of the abundance I could want you got the ten of pentacles no you didn't get the ten of pentacles twice you got the ten of cups and then the ten of pentacles um yeah I feel like magician yeah look at you manifesting it just like Pouring your energy and making sure your energy is aligned for success, right? Yeah, that's what's changing is you're like, okay, where if I navigate life out of a feeling of lack, of disappointment, of worry, of fear of failure, right? Fear of failure. 
then that's what I'm attracting to me, right? So I feel like you're really stepping into this empowerment that says, no matter what I get in return right now, I'm meant to do this. I'm called to do this. I'm called to be this healer. I'm called to help people. I'm called to transform. I'm, I'm called to step into this position, whether or not I feel ready, whether or not I feel ready. The truth is that no one feels exactly ready for anything that they start until they get started, right? It's every, every change is intimidating. Every single change is intimidating. You're not alone with that, right? There's some people who are, you know, take intimidation and that riles them up and they're just like, oh yeah, I'm scared as hell, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm scared as hell and like the adrenaline, I live for that. But then there's people who get scared as hell and just like hang back and you know, don't wanna, don't wanna make changes, right? Either way, the intimidation factor is there for everyone. So you're not alone right? No one starts something without intimidation because change is, is a process for everyone, no matter what, no matter how open and receptive you are to it. So, um, I feel like once you realize that, like every successful person has felt this way, everyone who's living empowered, who's in their feeling natural and comfortable in their skin, who's living their purpose, Everyone who's doing that was so intimidated to start. Once you realize that, then you'll have a lot more grace and compassion for yourself to just be like, that doesn't mean I'm not ready. That doesn't mean that I won't feel comfortable in six months. You know, exactly, six months from now. <laughs> okay, um, anything else here for what's transitioning? The Hermit, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. I love to see it. King of Cups on bottom. Being emotionally balanced. I've got burps so bad. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know that it comes with channeling sometimes, but it's just like unnecessary right now. The Hermit, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Look at this. You're going from keeping to yourself to saying, I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to be authentic. And then there's your empowerment again. You started off with the Queen of Wands and, you know, the Scorpio, the death energy at the beginning, 22, 22 on the clock. So I feel like you're going to just get up off your butt, right? You're going to stop keeping your gifts to yourself. You're going to let your inner light shine, right? This inner light is here. And as you speak your truth and as you go forward, even if it's not perfect, even if it feels like you're kind of stumbling on how to start, it doesn't matter. Practice makes perfect. And you will feel this level of empowerment and confidence with allowing yourself to express and let that inner light shine, open up, open up. Like it's so worth it. It's so worth it, right? Yeah, the, the emotions will get, the, the emotions will transform. Scorpio energy again. <laughs> the emotions will transform. You'll go from feeling insecure and not sure to empowered and calm and collected, right? Yeah, I feel like whatever is making you feel like you're not good enough right now, this five of wands energy, this kind of dramatic energy that's keeping you distracted right now or keeping you feeling like you're not prepared, I feel like as you consistently face that, that level of like intimidation or whatever, insecurity maybe even, as you face it, the easier it gets to face it again and again and again. There's always going to be life that happens. There's going to be people who try to rain on your parade, possibly, who try to make you feel like you're not doing as great as you are. And most of that, that only feels true if we believe it's true, okay? I, I'd view anyone criticizing what you're doing. I would try to view it as someone trying to tell you right now, the sky is purple. They can say it all day long. They can scream it for all day, day long. They can be keyboard warriors all day long saying it. Do you have to believe that's true? Do you have to let that rattle your day where you're going, man, is the sky purple? I, I better double check, man. Maybe the sky has actually always been purple. No. <laughs> it could be as irrelevant as someone saying something so irrelevant, right? And I get that that's easier to say, like I'm dealing with the same kind of issue. So I understand firsthand this problem. Um, but as we face it, the easier it gets to not let it get under our skin. Okay. So, um, 
and empowerment is the best self-fueled feeling ever, right? Empowerment really is from yourself. It's not really from other people. Other people can help us get there, but it's always good to anchor that empowerment back in ourself. I'm doing what I love. I love helping people. I, I love my mission. I love that I get to do this. You know, I feel good doing this. This brings me joy. This brings me hope. This brings me happiness. You know, I feel like I'm doing something that's good for me and good for others. Like that is the best place to be. So just keep doing it. Things are going to transform. Um, any, <laughs> oh, let's see if there's any like anything we should be aware of and how to handle that coming up. Anything that you want us to be aware of and how we should handle it, Spirit, with this divine mission. <laughs> you know, divine mission doesn't have to be anything spiritual. You could be someone who feels like you want to be a mu musician or something. You know, it's just something that maybe you feel like is unrealistic to, you know, pursue officially. 144 on the clock, so you might be... That might be a, a significant number for you, 144. <laughs> um, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, for what we should be aware of. Can you tell me some more about that? King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Double Sevens, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like what Spirit wants you to be aware of with this situation is that you might actually have someone from your past or someone that's, you know, you have a soul connection with, whether or not you've met them or not. I feel like this person is going to come in and offer to support you in some type of way. You know, um, they might want to partner with you. They might want to... They might really see your vision. They might really see your potential. They love what you're doing. They love your energy. They want to get behind it, okay? This is someone who wants to make something happen tangibly, right? Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Someone who really loves what you're doing. It, it could be a past person, someone from your childhood, someone that you've been, that you worked with before, um, an, an old employer, an old co coworker, an old friend, old lover, who knows, right? Um, and I feel like Spirit wants you to be aware of this because if this happens, you have a choice to make, right? Do you want to allow this person to support you or do you want to do it on your own? Do you want this to be like a solo gig for right now, right? Um, and I feel like Spirit just wants you to figure out what works best for you. In the long term, don't navigate it from a place of, you know, expecting the worst, but also have boundaries, speak your truth, queen of swords, knight of swords, and the emperor, right? No matter what, this, this is someone who could be a CEO or they could back other companies or they could something, you know, something. They see the potential in you. So this person might be further along in business or they might be further along in music or they might be further along in the industry, spirituality. It could be some sort of like teacher or something. And spirit wants you to remember that you are more than empowered in yourself. Okay. So it's up to you to discern any information coming in, right? And whatever this person says, you get to digest that knowledge and decide if that feels right for you and your mission. Okay. This person, has a lot of good information to offer. They could offer great support, but if it makes you feel guarded or confused about how to move forward, or if it makes you feel like, man, I'm not sure if I'm actually ready for this now, Spirit wants you to just remain empowered and just say like, this is your divine mission. This is your soul's calling. This is your heart's desire. This is your thing. You're allowed to be the driver here, right? No matter how much experience anyone has, it's your thing at the end of the day. So do it the way that you want it. And people who actually want to support you and not just sort of like take over will support you, right? 
if there's someone here who wants you to do things a certain way who and you're not comfortable with that then you can just say no that doesn't really work for me I'm gonna do things this way if you're down for that great if not totally understand just trust that no matter what even if this person doesn't end up supporting you because you want to do things your way you want to you know you want to be the leader here you want to be the one leading this whole thing it's your sole mission if this deters this person away that is not a failure okay that would just be a door opening for you to experience self-made success self-made accomplishment self-made empowerment okay if this person is a true team player then they will respect and understand what you're wanting and see the value in your vision and invest that way okay so you call the shots don't give up your power to someone else trying to take the reins okay um, yeah let's see is there any <laughs> look at that the Empress there whatever you do with this it's going to flourish okay this is your baby this is your soul's baby this is you're more than capable of making this happen right you're more than capable of making this flourish you know I'm I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of reminded of like whenever I had my daughter you know um, and I remember it was a grueling 52 hours of labor um, I was exhausted by the time she was born and so she's born and then they do everything they check her and then they put her on my chest and then they're, they're just like all right and I was just like, wait, they just like left us alone with this baby? Like, <laughs> they just, what do we do? Like, <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Um, and it just being like, you might not feel comfortable. You might feel like you're not ready. It might be intimidating, but you have what it takes. I remember feeling so anxious and worried for the first, like, few months of my daughter's life I thought she was like I thought I was gonna lose her at any point because I just didn't trust that I was like actually capable of being a good parent right I thought I was when I was pregnant and then the baby actually gets here and I'm like holy moly this is drastic right but spirit wants you to know that like this is your baby you have what it takes to nurture it to grow it you're not going to destroy it okay follow your soul's heart follow your soul's mission don't doubt yourself. Don't try to give away your power to something else. Don't like, there's this importance on you having grace with yourself just saying, I'm learning as I go and that's okay. All right. Um, is there anything else you want to tell my darling about this? Three of swords. There's something about like, yeah, thoughts, thoughts about disappointment that need to be healed. Yeah. The star energy, three of swords, the star. Um, Maybe the thing that's holding you back or the thing that makes you feel maybe a little insecure about this is um, you don't feel healed enough, maybe. Maybe you feel like I'm not as well off as I should be. All of these other people doing this thing seem more established, seem more secure, seem more steady, 33, 22 on the clock. And Spirit just wants you to know that like you will be surprised how much healing comes from you just allowing yourself to be a beginner, allowing yourself to move forward to experience this. You don't, there's no arbitrary level of healedness, of readiness that you have to achieve, right? That thought alone is a hurtful thought to your soul, it's a hurtful thought to yourself. So spirit wants you to just trust that whatever needs healing, whatever, there's gonna be a level of healing to your confidence through taking this action, through, you know, pursuing this in your life. This, the healing comes from you doing that, right? There's, there's a special part of that healing that is required of you to take action first, right? Um, anything else here before we close out this reading spirit? King of Swords again. Yeah, I, I think... Spirit just wants you to make plans that allow for you to be a beginner, right? To not have it all figured out, that you're going to make it happen as you go. It's a repeat message, right? You can't have everything figured out A through Z up front. 
you can do the best that you can, but there's some things that you just have to take the leap and figure out as you go. Yeah, the logic is too, the logic is clouding your vision here, right? The logic, the thought process, the I'm not ready enough, I'm not healed enough. That's the only thing that's foggy about this. This is your soul's mission. Your soul's mission is for you no matter what stage you're in. Your soul's mission is not waiting for you to be ready. Your soul's mission is ready for you at any point. And they're saying, are you ready for me? Because I'm ready for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> So the logic is making it foggy, nothing else. Yep, don't hold yourself back, page of swords. You're gonna learn as you go, right? You're learning things now, you're gonna learn as you go, but you're further advanced than you realize. Yeah, eight of swords. We're getting kind of repeating messages here about feeling stuck, feeling like we can't move forward with something, yeah. 10 of cups. <laughs> you're allowed to be happy. You're allowed to trust that, hey, I can be excited about my soul mission. I can be excited about my purpose. I can feel good doing what I love, even if I'm not perfect at it. You're allowed to just enjoy it, right? Enjoying it is an essential part of the process. So just enjoy that you found something that calls to you. You know how rare that is? You know how many people just live their whole life going through the motions day to day. They found some career that pays the bills and I guess that's what they're doing for the rest of their life. You know how rare it is to find something that actually fuels your heart and soul? The fact that you have progressed so much to discover this within yourself shows just how ready you actually are. Again, there's nothing you have to do to be ready for your soul's mission. Your soul's mission is ready for you anytime. Anytime, okay? Yeah, the high priestess, your soul's mission is ready for you anytime. Oh, I love this reading. Okay. <laughs> Spirit, um, how do you want to close out this reading? Okay, I guess I'm feeling called to do that for a reason. Oh, I dropped a crystal. Goodness gracious, okay. Oh my god, hurry, I gotta go get my daughter from school. It's her last week of school. I can't believe she's gonna be a second grader. She's so big. Yeah. Okay, Spirit, um, give me some information here to close out this reading for my darling. Any additional things that I didn't touch base on or that you want me to really emphasize here? Meditation, mm, the best place to find that soul's, you know, readiness or to feel ready is to get in meditative states, you know, get grounded, get present, you know, it's important. Yeah, it, that'll separate you from all of these thoughts. The thoughts were so heavy. The conflicting thoughts were so heavy. So to clear that out, practice some meditation, okay? Um, or meditative practices, right? Um, if you can't sit down and do meditation, you can zone out doing any other thing. I've talked about this before, sometimes when we're driving, and I'm not telling you to go drive to meditate. Absolutely not. That is not what I'm saying. But have you ever been driving, and the next thing you know, you're where you were supposed to be. And you're like, don't remember any of that drive. You were in a meditative state doing that. Don't go driving to meditate, absolutely not, so dangerous. Uh, but there's other things that you can do, something that um, a lot of people will get into, like if you're a crafter, knitting or crocheting or sewing or something that requires you to do something repetitively with your hands can get you into a meditative process. Meditation doesn't have to look like you sitting going oh, <laughs> it doesn't have to look like that. Do whatever meditation looks good for you. Something to clear your mind, something to bring you back to your present state, okay? Yeah. What else? Children, and it kind of came out reverse, so yeah, I'm getting the energy of like, someone who has like imposter syndrome, right? And spirit's just like telling you that you're, you're ready, right? 
you're ready. You're not, you're not a child, right? Get that childlike excitement back in you because if you were actually not progressed enough or not, you know, yeah, not grown enough or whatever in this area that is your soul's calling, then you would still be excited. Like, the, I don't know, there's something about the mind is telling you that you're not ready, but you actually are, right? That's just been the repeating message. How many times is it gonna say the same thing? Spirit's like, wrap it up. We've, we've said all we need to say. Wrap it up, it's enough. All right. Anything else, Spirit? I feel like something flipped in there. Did something flip in there? No. At the bottom, we've got divine timing and answer prayer. Yeah, okay. This is meant for you. We got the Wheel of Fortune. That's divine timing too. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope that this reading really hit home for you. Whatever you're doing, whatever's your soul's calling, whatever's your mission, whatever you're excited about, I would love to hear about it. And if you have like a channel or social media that you're sh thinking about showing this on, let me know because I will totally follow you and support you because I love people following their soul's calling. This is my soul's calling and I know how intimidated I was to start it and how rough around the edges everything was in my first readings. So um, I'm here with you. I get it. Uh, you don't have to feel ready to be ready. Your soul's calling is ready for you whenever you say yes, okay? Um, tomorrow is Thoughtful Thursday. We're going to see who is thinking about you. I hope to see you then. Yeah. If you like this reading, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay. It helps me so much and I appreciate it so much. Also introduce yourself. Say hi. I'll, I'll say hi to you too. Okay. Hope you have a great rest of your day, a wonderful week, or a fantastic life. I love you so much. I really do. Take care and ta-ta.